scholars in the field of economics have long identified food, shelter, and clothing as the three most basic needs of man. The very clear understanding of the importance of these needs have prepared the Delta State Governor, Senator Dr. Ifani Okowa, to commit both energy and huge state resources to turn around the economic fortunes of Deltans. One out of the several policy trusts of the administration aimed at bringing prosperity to the people is food production and most importantly, crop cultivation, animal husbandry and aquaculture. It's a privilege for me to be part of this program and my plea to the governor is they should not back off the training because this has really helped a lot of persons. I'm a beneficiary of it. If not for him, I will not be in debt as I will not be doing this business. The Okoa led administration through a well-structured policy tagged Youth Agricultural and Entrepreneurship Program, YAGEP, has empowered young Deltans who have in turn carved out a niche for themselves by taking advantage of the many opportunities that abound in the agricultural value chain. Through our job and wealth creation programs, we had to start up what they call the Skills Training Entrepreneurship Program and the Youth Agricultural Entrepreneurship Program, through which we trained a few thousands of youths. So we doing that uh, very reasonably and uh, we've had a success story. We have had a lot of programs for our farmers, uh, reaching out to them in their various farms, providing them with support services. Most of the young men and women who participated in the agricultural uh, program, that is the AGE program of the government, most of them today now have their own enterprises. Apart from having their own different enterprises, uh, these enterprises now employ other youths. Apart from setting up the people who participated in the program, the program itself is now giving birth to other employees. So the multiplier effect from the program of this government, particularly in the agri sector and even in the other skill acquisition programs, it's been wonderful. We didn't pay anything back. Everything was free of charge given to us by the governor. And uh, we trained the fish to table size successfully. We sold and uh, as of now, I have about uh, almost 5,000 fishes right now. So that is like times two of what the governor empowered us with. So from that, you can tell it went really well. It is 9 a.m. on this fateful day. The rays of the sun is quite visible as it beams through the horizon and the abundant opportunities on the vast land of Ibuzo in Oshimili North local government area of the oil rich Delta State, South South Nigeria. These young fish farmers, who were some of the beneficiaries of the Youth Agricultural and Entrepreneurship Program, did not want to miss the opportunity that comes to such a bright day. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, How are you? Oh. Where are you people coming yes. from? We going to get our feet on the store there. Yeah. Okay, you are going to feed your fishes? Yeah. Okay, that is interesting. Wow, this yeah. is so beautiful. Their testimonies aptly capture their contentment and how impactful fish farming has been in their lives. Governor Efanyu Okowa has done even greater than Napoleon, than great Napoleon that we read in the book. And I will say that he should continue doing it. He shouldn't be deterred or get tired consigning a youth empowerment. From the experience I got during my training and the six month cycle, I was able to restock and not just restocking within here, I have to got a pond in a, another farm, Camp 74. Yeah, I have other uh, species of a uh, catfish. Governor, continue. I believe God that made it possible for you to be there. We continue to protect you and energize you. That initiative for you to educate the Delta by making Delta to be owner of a business, not being employed again. Governor have made it possible that you now can run your business, even employ people to help you. This uh, program has really, really impacted in my life for ever since 2018 which I was empowered and up to date, I was being pleased with what I'm doing. Vincent Osokogo, one of the star performers of the program, though 
started out with three tarpaulin ponds, can now boast of extra seven ponds, bringing its current number to ten tarpaulin ponds. Osokogo went down memory lane as he charted with Smart Delta. He spoke of how he metamorphosed from being an unemployed graduate to a well-established fish farmer. He further talked about his foray into fish processing, adding extra value to his produce and ultimately more income. This program has given me the opportunity to be a certified fish farmer. Before now, I was empowered with three tarpaulin, 2,000 fingerlings, and about 145 bags of feed to take the fishes to maturity. In fact, after my first harvest, my next stocking, I stocked about 3,700, and I gained a lot. In fact, I made money from it. I am proudly married, and I have a kid. The quarrel from home before now is no more there. So I want to deeply appreciate the state government. He has done a lot for me. Ekene Gold, another beneficiary at the Ibuzo Cluster Fish Farms, recounts his experiences. He concluded by revealing that he has lofty plans for expansion. Initially, we were empowered with 2,000 fingerlings and 445 bags of feed, which will take the fish to a table size. But right now, I've expanded not only here, also I have other species of fish, which is a hybrid and a heterobranchus. I grew that one in an eating pond. I really thank the state government for doing this and I still beg them to continue because it has helped so many youths out from the street. The Delta example, economists say, is worthy of emulation. To give more tap roots to these arguments, Smart Delta dug deeper for more facts surrounding this empowerment and food revolution going on in Delta State. Our thirst for facts catapulted us to Ugbokodo Ukwe Cluster Fish Farms in Wari, the commercial nerve center of Delta State. The trip was an eye-opener. Bird's eye view shots reveal a massive 240 Ethan ponds built in natural swampy terrain over a large expanse of marshy land. These ponds are developed in a natural setting where fishes can grow in their natural habitat. Welcoming the Smart Delta team to the farm, Ashidawa Eseogene, one of the leaders of the beneficiaries, remarked that life is good with good thinking. While taking Smart Delta on a tour of the ponds, he highlighted the impact of the program in the lives of the beneficiaries. He applauded Governor Ifanyokoa for the empowerment, even as he stressed that the fish farming business is a lucrative venture. I want to commend our maybe governor for bringing this initiative. It, it has really helped so many youths in the other state. It does have a great impact in terms of uh, financial stability. Before then, we were, we were just ideal doing nothing. But um, due to the empowerment program, we've been able to have something we do. It has brought more money in our pocket, so it has really been helpful. Ogolo Terry, another beneficiary with ponds in the cluster, can be described as an ambassador on account of his exploits. His effective deployment of his seed starter pack sets him apart. Besides acquiring more ponds, he also bought a machine which he hires out to his colleagues to maintain their ponds for a fee. Ogolo Hills, the initiative of the state government under the leadership of Dr. Fanyo Koa. He emphasized that skills acquisition and empowerment is the way to go to reduce unemployment and pervasive poverty. Before now, I'm a beggar. I have to beg, beg uncles, you know, just roaming the streets. But since I've been in this program, I don't beg again. 
as a matter of fact, I don't look for a job. So I engage people to work for me now. So it has impacted my life positively in no way around. The pumping machine they use with this fund, they belongs to me. I have two pumping machines. Also, they want to make gifts to us. I have to buy, I bought them. They are used to do renting. For some of the farming equipment they have in this farm, they belong to me. Thank you, Your Excellency, because it gave me the reason to live again. Majemete Paul and Emmanuel James are employees of Ogolo. While they may not be direct beneficiaries, they are, however, happy to benefit on the secondary level as they earn a living through Ogolo as employees. The program that the government did for my boss is a good one and I benefit from it in various aspects. I know nothing about fish farming before, but when I come with my boss, he taught me many things like now I can handle my own pond at any time and at, at any way. Train the government gave my boss a, a good work and I am here to benefit from it too and to still earn money to throughout my junior work and I really enjoy working here with him. Speaking further on the multiplier effect of this job creation scheme, Olumarigi Andrew, yet another beneficiary of the program, commended the governor for providing for him a source of livelihood. He was quick to mention how he was able to impact the lives of others whom he employed to work for him while he is away attending to other things. I have to thank my governor, Sivito Koa, for this lovely program he has embarked on. And with the help of the program, I was able to also go into pig farming too. And I was able to, not just for me to learn, but the privilege to stay employed workers working under my enterprise. Imako Samuel and Ogo Bao, both staff of Andrews, use the opportunity of their work at the ponds to gain more experience in fish production. They hope to become their own bosses someday soon. They also appreciate the Delta State Government on behalf of their boss and friends who are on the program, emphasizing that it takes a man of strong political will to remember the downtrodden. Now I can take your fish. And the mud pump stock treats the pond very well through the experience I've had over so far. He's a good boss. He assists me in my school and some other things, food stores. I also do my work through working here. So yeah, it's been good for me. And I'll be working with Sanju for a while now. Of which through the help of the government I was able to get some knowledge through him as an employee. I've benefited from him in the sense like he gives me the knowledge that some days I'm going to stand as a man who is going to say yes, I'm good in the business. Smart Delta. The better run, run, come, come to Delta stage. Come and see the good things where Okowa is, they do it better. Run, come, come to Delta stage. Come and see the good things where Okowa is, they do. I see your job and work creation in Delta. Make the youth say them hire. Okowa. I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people say them cola. Everywhere. Empowerment for the farmers in Delta. Food and quality education in Delta. Well equipped hospitals here in Delta. And a business in Carrey in Olega. There is dignity in labor. This was the position of Denison Aweroswa, Evelyn Eshomi, and Mark Egri, who took a peep at how difficult it was to make ends meet prior to their empowerment. Today, courtesy of fish farming they got into after their training by government, they can now fend for themselves and in fact can boast of money in their pockets no matter how little. The power to pay their own bills without asking someone for handouts gives them a prevailing sense of dignity which wasn't the case in the past. Is a capitally intensive because the fish is that what you put in that's what they give to you. I make good sales just because the, the state governor when they empower we they try they give us about 145 bag of feed. With that range of the 145 bag of feed when I sold I make good money. The fish farming is very good. So I start this fish farming. I'm training my children by myself. That one is an achievement for one. 
the trainer has made me an employer. We are, we are still even doing training for other people. People are coming here for excursion. They have empowered me, so we have also empowered other people. They are trying to equip me. He said it before that prosperity is for all data. And as a robot man, he does not even do it based on travel stuff. You see, extended to all that. As far as you are data, you are beneficiary. Felix. Next was Felix Oyenel Chuko, a graduate of animal science and fishery. From his days in school, it has been his dream to own large fish farms. But that dream remained largely a mirage up till the time he came into contact with job and wealth creation. He says where he is today is a classic example of grass to grace. All thanks to the government of Delta State who realized every Delta is important irrespective of status in society. The program has been so tremendous and has uh, really uh, helped me in terms of financial status and in terms of uh, family life. The viable business is making a great impact in our state, even the environment here. So there's kind of a chain of productivity. The market women, the fish sellers, the feed sellers, all this, even the laborers that works in the farm, it's helping them a lot. Produce of whatever kind is incomplete without attracting sales. Food, and especially fish, is a favorite of cooking pots and dining tables anywhere. So, it didn't come as a surprise to Smart Delta Media that a flock of women buyers are always on hand to buy directly from the pond in contrast to the regular marketplace. Their patronage of the young fish farmers is on account of the quality and affordability of the produce. It's a very good business, very, very nice business. In short, I like the market because every day, if I come to buy, I will sell it and get my profits. The government should continue to empower them and empower us with that we are buying the fish. Endurance Edowo, popularly called Didi, is the proprietor of Iyara Side, a restaurant at the heart of Asaba, patronized by persons of all classes. She says the produce of these fish farmers has been good for business. I go to a place called Ifan Jesus where we buy fish. And since then, the fish business has really, really increased. Uh, we use it for like banga soup. A lot of people, when they come to say, okay, I want to buy banga soup, there's no fresh fish, they won't eat. Because there's this nutrient it gives to the soup when you're eating it. Especially the dried one. I want to use the opportunity to say thank you to Okoa. Because I've had people come to meet me, like, please, madam, I've seen the high patronage when it comes to fish in your restaurant. Please, can I supply? When it comes to this fish farming, I want to encourage youths because there's a lot of money. I'm here to eat um, starch and fish with banga soup. And <laughs> the number one reason why I'm here is mainly because of the fish. I love catfish a lot. Fish in general, because of nutritional values it has, it helps me. The reports are so enthralling that the more testimonies we get, the deeper we dig for more information. This time, our voyage landed us at Mbiri Fish Cluster Farm, where we heard from some of the beneficiaries how the program has helped them realize the need to pay attention to agriculture rather than depending solely on oil. Thank you, Shiju. Governor has helped to create this opportunity to reduce drastically the rate of unemployment among the youth in Delta State. And one of the beneficiaries uh, owned a pond here in Mbiri Fish Cluster Farm. Ever since I graduated from the university, there's no job. So this is what has been sustaining me. Uh, without agriculture, uh, I believe no country will exist. Many people rely on oil, which cannot take us far in this country. Our governor has the IQ in terms of uh, creating uh, wealth opportunity, uh, diversifying our uh, economy into agriculture, then uh, for that, a big thanks to Governor Ifani Okova. Keep it up. This is a very good program because it has provided employment for jobless youth. For example, I graduated from Delta State University as an agricultural science student. There was no job actually, but with this program, I've been able to obtain a farm which I've been able to sustain myself for this while. Lugard, 
Otta Komei and Mr. Bright Atalo, two gentlemen who recognize and appreciate the intervention of government in their lives, were quick to mention how the program has not only reduced the rate of unemployment in the state, but also aided food sufficiency even beyond the borders of Delta State, as they are already exporting fish to neighboring states. With this our program, I know it will reduce importation of fish immensely. Like now in this cluster, I know people from those states, Bayasa, they come to patronize us here. And with the special grace of God, I know we export to other neighboring countries. We've been upgraded financially. When this program started before now, some of us were not meeting up in every aspect of life. Things have been so difficult for us until our amiable governor, Senator Dr. Ifan Yokowa, uh, brought in this program. We were given a 2,000 post fingerlings. So, and we were given stipend for six months at the rate of 15,000 naira just to keep us going for transportation and other expenses. It has been so encouraging. Furthermore, Lucky Emu and Bright Okafo, who are beneficiaries at the Owalero Fish Cluster Farm, hailed Governor Koa for keeping to his promise of providing jobs for Deltans through this empowerment program which, according to them, has impacted their lives. I want to say big kudos to state government, not personal, the uh, Senator Dr. Ifan Yokowa, Governor of Delta State, who gave this grace to we the youth that are handicapped, have nothing to do, and who empowered us. May God give him the grace to do more in this political area. He have done more than even expected to fulfill his uh, elections promises he have made. I can say that over 15,000 youth has been self-employed on these issues of the entrepreneur and entrepreneur. The testimonies of the enormous impacts of the fishery program under Yagep abound across the state. At the Anwai Fish Cluster, Smart Delta had a chat with Isioma Mofe who narrated how the training and empowerment by the state government formed the foundation for her growth in the agribusiness. With so much gratitude to the Delta state government, Isioma says the bug of expansionism has caught her as she has expanded from fishery to poultry farming in line with government's vision of growth. Dr. Senator Ifai he has been of great help and I will continue to thank him wherever I am. Through this Yaga program, I was able to do my postgraduate diploma in this year. I now have my own poetry. Then my younger ones, about five of them, will live in the same house. It was this program that brought it's the foundation for me assisting my home and even sending help to my parents in the village. Joshua Nwokolo and Jerry Wabweze, some of Isioma's colleagues, could not be outdone as they also share their testimonies of all-round transformation in their lives. Aside fish farming, they were trained on, the general knowledge of running a successful enterprise, and that has broadened their horizon in business. They are not just self-employed, but job creators as well. Right now, I'm not jobless. I've been able to feed well. I've been able to pay my rent in due time, and I've been able to, to help one or two people in the family. Every time I've been saying thank you to the governor because without him, nothing like this would have happened. We went for this training at um, Songhai Data for six months, both practical and theory part of the training. And we came out and with the help of the governor, we were financed to continue the business. And it has been a great help to us because the most demand put by consumers are fish. And we have not even gotten up to 10% of the demand. It has made me being self-dependent on my own. So, so far, the business has been good. Fish farming is no doubt here to stay. This aspect of aquaculture is one which has gained traction among Delta youth over the past four years under a visionary leadership. How much is your fish? This size, 225, this size. What are this one? This size, 3,000. This one at 3,000. 3,000, yes. Wow. As you have heard for yourself, this size of fish costs 3,000 naira and the other 2,500 naira. Imagine a young fish farmer that has 2,000 of these in his fish pond. You do the math and discover how financially rewarding this is. This is a prosperity for all deltans Governor Okoa is talking about. 
Indeed, a stronger delta is achievable. The business is okay. I take and they train my children, I take and they chop, I take and they sustain. Our governor, if I knew, go. My better thing they do. Because we go from there, they get our own. Oh, it's a go! 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 Explore the potentials of our state. 